top of the evening to you guys. Well, Mr. Obama, congratulations on winning another election. My F My F dog Furious says uh, congratulations as well, right? Right? Yes. Congratulations, mister. Go have yourself a Guinness and celebrate in the fashion that you like to celebrate your your victories in. In fact, I'm going to celebrate with you by doing a beer review. I haven't done one in a little while, so I figured, what better time to do one than now? Now, this, this has nothing to do with the election. It has nothing to do with, with, with whatever just happened. But this beer is called Nasty Habit. And uh, there's a devil. <laughs> there's a devil on this uh, beer bottle. Doesn't mean you're a devil, Mr. Obama. Doesn't mean, Romney, you're a devil. Just saying that I would be a better president. So, um, yeah. Next time, next time there's an election, I think Furious Pete should be pres. But anyways, getting back into, um, get, getting back into this beer review, let's read what's on this bottle. Allow yourself to be seduced by our nasty habit. A generously hopped IPA balanced by a diabolical blend of rich specialty malts and pure mountain water. A wicked ale that leaves you lusting for more. Sounds like an aphrodisiac. Doesn't it, Mel? Mm -hmm. Sounds like an aphrodisiac bear, uh, beer. Um, yeah, no other real information. 6% alcohol. Classified as a strong beer by Mount Beige Be Brewing Company, IPA. So let's try this devil beer that apparently I'll be lusting for more. We'll open it with one hand. Actually, kind of. Hold on. I wasn't really planning this one out too well, now was I? In there. Oh, it's not working too well. There we go. Here we go. Okay, so we got our glass, we got our bottle. Here we go. Let's pour this baby out. Beautiful. Yeah, let's put the bottle aside. Got a pretty nice clear color. Uh, which is nice, uh, very important, but a dark one. So, ooh, that's a really nice smell. Mmm, that's tasty. That's a really tasty beer. It's a perfect balance of hops. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, if only Obama can just balance his budget this year and the next four years, we'll see. I have to say that this is a perfectly balanced beer. Very delicious. In fact, I really like it. Um, I highly recommend it. If you see this in the store, buy it. If you, especially if you like IPAs, not too hoppy, nice and crisp. Especially it's really cold right now. It's perfect. Mmm. I really like this. Really like this. You want to try this, Mel? Sure. Let's get let's get Mel's opinion before we uh, end this vlog. Come on, the audience is waiting. The audience waits. The audience waits. What's your opinion? I don't have a bra on. <laughs> then the audience will like it even more. No, oh, she's only embarrassed because her nipples are showing. Nipples are showing through the yeah, shirt. Yeah, I wore a glass of that. Yeah, told you. It's good. I really do actually. It is a very good beer. It's I hope like. Hard. Hopefully I can find some more very tasty beer. I would give Furious some, but no, nah, I'm not going to. Anyways, um, if you guys voted for Obama, congratulations. If you voted for Romney, sorry to hear that your your president lost. And uh, if you voted for Furious Pete, well, um, that election was fake. Hey. Anyways, you stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, cheers. Yet.